you're a catcher and you're wondering what the best options are for lenses in your eyewear, stick around, I'm gonna talk about it. Hello and welcome, I'm Eyeglass Tyler. Today we're gonna to be talking about the best lenses for catchers. This will be both baseball and softball. We're gonna talk about what lenses and lens options would be the best option if you do choose to wear sunglasses behind the bat. We have heard mixed feelings about catchers, preferences of wearing sunglasses under their face guard, but if you do, or if you're interested in getting a little more perspective on it or just some information, these are going to be your top tips. By the way, if by the end of this you are interested in buying, do not forget about SportRx and definitely don't forget about our See Better Guarantee because with that, you're never stuck with something that you don't like or just doesn't suit you. You have as long as 45 days with them, even if you get them in prescription. To figure that out, you just contact us and we take care of you no matter what that means on our end. Also, by the way, we have opticians, very friendly and knowledgeable, who'd love to help you get it right the first time. So don't forget to reach out to us if you're interested. Let's talk about lenses. First off, let's talk about clear or a light tint. When we're talking low light, clear honestly is best or even nighttime. That's usually my first recommendation. It is definitely going to be the most ideal in lower light conditions because in lower light conditions, you wanna get the most light to your eyes as possible. So that's going to mean of course night games or how about those foggy days, early mornings. There is something to be said, however, about a light tint because with a light tint, even though you are inherently reducing the amount of light making it to your eyes, as any tint will do, you can also be helping your color perception a little bit. Things like contrast enhancement being boosted, which will make it easier to spot and track the ball. Depth perception cues are enhanced. There are a lot of benefits to having that contrast enhancement and potentially a lower light tint, meaning a tint that allows as much light through as possible while still giving you that enhanced color perception. One lens that comes to mind right now is a very interesting one. It's about as close to clear as you can get while still giving you some of that enhanced color perception. And that is coming from Oakley, their Prism Low Light. Check that out. Otherwise, things like a really light amber or a really light rose copper are also good options, just keeping in mind that with any tint, you are going to be minimizing the amount of light making it to your eyes. So if you're light sensitive, probably not a big deal. If you're not light sensitive, then you might be losing out on that very important light to make your game that much better. Uh, do also consider the fact that if we're talking under stadium lights, then you're already getting kind of a lot of light to your eyes. And so it might not be an issue just having a better understanding and knowing what your normal environment is when you're playing in those low light conditions will help you make that decision. Uh, regardless, a really good high quality anti reflective coating is almost a must, if not an absolute must. I think the anti reflective coating is a really good idea. That's a coating that's applied to the front and back side of the lens that minimizes reflections and glare off of the surface of the lens, which means you're actually getting more of that light to your eyes that you need to see. And definitely a better experience in artificial light because you're going to get less distraction, less halos around lights. And so that is a really, really good idea. Now let's talk about proper tinted lenses. We're talking more sunglass lenses. Now I always recommend that contrast enhancement. I went into this a little bit just a moment ago when talking about a low light tint, but you get that a lot more so with a denser tint. And so I'm thinking of that rose copper. I'm thinking of brown. You can even go with rose. Uh, it's a really good lens tint as well if you really want the most contrast boost. If you want the most vivid color perception, then a rose is a really good idea. The rose coppers and the browns are going to give you more protection against bright excess light. Now that we're talking about the sun being out, you want to block some of that light transmission and the rose coppers and the browns are going to be really good. It's going to make it uh, the ball pop a lot more. It's going to help to, like I mentioned, give you that contrast boost, which just makes it easier to spot and read the ball as it's coming to your glove. Some things to keep in mind, some things to be aware of would be your normal experience in bright light conditions. If you are more light sensitive, obviously one of the darker, denser tints is going to be better. 
but if you aren't as light sensitive, then that rose might be better because it's more in the middle in terms of how much light it blocks while considering how much contrast and how much color it boosts. And so understanding that about your eyes will help you to decide what color is going to be best for you. Also, again, don't forget about our opticians because they'd love to help you that as well. Now let's talk about Prism again really quick because this is another good option for bright light conditions. I mentioned it for the low light because of that unique Prism low light lens, but the Prism Field is another lens that is one of my favorites. It gives you a ton of that contrast enhancement, a ton of that color boost. It is a lens that is designed specifically for the sport. It's going to cut more light transmission. This is going to be good for really those daytime, brighter, sunnier conditions that is always my go-to pick. It is amazing. It is designed for the average everyday light conditions and light experience on the field. And in this case, which is even more exciting to me, is the fact that you can get it in prescription. So do keep that in mind because I didn't mention it, but the Prism low light lens is not yet available in prescription. Hopefully someday it is, but as of now, if you need prescription, then go for the Prism field because it's amazing. Now that I've mentioned prescription lenses, of course we have to talk about corrective lenses. I mean, we're Sport RX, of course we're talking RX. I will, of course, being biased, always recommend you get your prescription in your eyewear. I already brought up the fact that we acknowledge that not every catcher likes to wear eyewear under the face mask, but if you do, I think it's a really good idea. If you need corrective eyewear and you normally wear contact lenses, it is always a good idea to have a proper pair of prescription eyewear, whether it be eyeglasses, sunglasses, sport eyewear, because you can't always wear your contacts. Sometimes actually your doctor will tell you you can't for an extended period of time if you get an eye infection or something along those lines. And so do make sure that you are always covered and that you have that option. But in my opinion, I think that having the proper tint is super important and the proper lens color, lens features, lens options, and you can achieve that with your prescription eyewear. And I think that you should definitely have that it will make your experience so much better. Also, it'll give you a little more protection against things like dust, dirt, and debris. And so it can definitely benefit you as well in that way, outside of all of the other benefits that I mentioned in terms of color perception enhancement. A few more options to acknowledge. Of course, there exists transitions. Transitions are great. The more generic term for that is photochromic. It is light reactive. It reacts to how bright it is, how dark it is. It'll be clear at night. It'll be dark during the day. There are some amazing options in the world of transitions. There are also even more amazing options in sport optimized lenses. Here at SportRx, we have some lenses that we have designed using existing lens features that are optimal for given sports. And so definitely check those out. There are a lot of really good options. Another feature to consider is something interchangeable. So a frame choice then that has interchangeable functionality because then you can actually get multiple sets of lenses to be ideal for whatever position you're playing, but also time of day and light conditions. Like we've mentioned, you could need a separate pair for nighttime versus daytime, and that would allow you to just have one frame and then swap out lenses as needed. Another thing to mention, and I've really gone into this a lot in a lot of different videos, so if you want more information on any one of these features, you can check those out. I won't get too deep in the weeds right now, but just as a good broad strokes overview, a mirror coating is very common. That's a coating applied to the front side of the lens, reflects more light back, means less lights making it through your eyes. So a really good option for those really excessively bright sunny days. Whenever you've seen a really intense color on lenses like red or blue, it's almost certainly going to be thanks to a mirror coating and it's very popular in the sport. So that's something else to consider. One last lens feature to acknowledge, and that is polarized. Again, I've done many videos on this. I've talked about this ad nauseum, but I do want to make sure that I point out here that I don't recommend polarized lenses. There isn't really any benefit to the polarized 
filter, which is going to help block or cut glare bouncing off of other objects. There's not a ton of glare bouncing off of the grass or off of the field or other players outside of maybe their mirror coatings. But outside of that, there's not really any benefit. However, it can potentially throw off your depth perception. And that is not good because it'll make it harder to track the ball. It can definitely hinder your performance. So being that there's no real benefit to having that feature and there is a potential detriment, I would say avoid it. This has been Tyler's top tips for picking the right lenses for use as a catcher. I hope that I covered everything you were hoping to be covered in this video and that you learned something and you have a better idea as to what to expect. If you are ready to order and you want more information or you're just ready, do not forget about that See Better guarantee. And also don't forget about our opticians who would love to help you with even more in-depth information for what is absolutely perfect for you. Reach out to us. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this was interesting or valuable information. If so, please throw us a like because that helps us out. You can find relevant videos over here and also we have great content on our social media outlets and I think you should check it out because I really think that you'd like it and you can find us at SportRx.